Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report brought to you by Centerfield Media. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over a few international free agents the Rangers should consider signing this offseason. And I'll also be discussing the topic of Texas Rangers number one prospect, Josh Young. I'll be discussing if he should start for the Rangers at third base and the 2021 season. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. The first international player that I want to talk about on this list is Kiwam Heroes infielder Ha Young Kim of the KBO. Kim is a 24 year old um, shortstop. However, um, professional MLB scouts think he's more suited to play third base or second base. And given that Kim is only 24 years old, that is extremely rare for most people coming out of Asia because most players coming out of like Korea or Japan, they're usually like um, later on in their careers, like 28 or 30. So they're on the downswing of things. But um, Kim is very rare and uh, he's gonna be a hot commodity because he's only 24 years old. So he's still going into his prime. So with that being said, if the Rangers were to sign Ha Seong Kim, he'd most likely play third base for the Rangers heading into the 2021 season. And the Rangers infield would consist of um, Kim at third base, uh, Isaiah Kiner Falafa at shortstop, Nick Solak at second base, and recently acquired Nate Lau at first base. Kim, he does have a lot of potential. He's put up really good numbers in the KBO. He provides a solid combination of pop in his bat, and he provides solid speed on the base paths as well. He'd probably be one of the fastest third basemen in the league. Although personally, I don't think he's the best fit for the Rangers. This is because the Rangers have their number one prospect, Josh Young, waiting in the system. And he is the future at third base for the Rangers. And yeah, Young has played at like short and second base, but third base is where Young's gonna play in the majors. And I don't know if the Rangers would want to invest a lot of money in an infielder who will only be playing like third base for a year and yeah you can move um kim around to like second base and you can move nick so like that outfield and then you can figure out what to do with david Dahl. however i really don't think there's a clear spot for kim on the rangers roster i mean he could you could sign him and he could be a super utility guy he could play third this year and then if like Solak and IKF, like if they don't work out their new positions, then he could fill in at short, he could fill in at second base, or maybe even if Josh Young, if he's not even ready for the majors, then maybe Kim could play third base for this year and maybe even next year. However, even though Kim is a super intriguing prospect, I just don't think that the Rangers will be a good fit for him. The second international player on this list is Yomi Ori Giants, right handed pitcher. Tomoyuki Sugano of the NPB. The 31 year old pitcher might just be the best starting pitcher on the market after um, Trevor Bowers off the board because Trevor Bowers probably gonna be signing soon. He said in his latest video, he's down to four. So that should be pretty exciting. Sugano has been one of the best pitchers over in the NPB. This is the same league that you Darvis pitched in whenever he pitched over in Japan. And Sugano, he's a two-time Suwamuro award winner, which is basically the equivalent of the Cy Young over um, in America. And in 2020, he had another award to his shelf. and He was named the Central League Most Valuable Player after going 14-2 and two with a 1.97 um, ERA in 20 starts. And I know that like wins and losses and ERAs, those aren't like the most advanced stats nowadays. However, that is still very impressive stats. And it's still impressive that he's winning MVPs and Cy Youngs over in Japan. During Sugano's eight year career in Japan, he had 101 wins to uh, 49 losses, a 2.32 ERA, uh, 1.03 whip, 1,200, and 14 strikeouts and 1,360 innings of work. Scouts over here, scouts for professional teams at the MLB think Sugano can be like a middle of the rotation guy, like a number two and number three, like right off the bat, 
um, starting for an MLB team like in 2021. This is because he has a really um, advanced feel for pitching, but he also has a nice repertoire for pitching. Uh, he has a fastball that tops out at 95 miles an hour. He has a slider, a changeup, and a fork ball as well. Jeff Passan has actually said that the Rangers have shown interest in Sugano. So this is interesting to hear as a Rangers fan. Although he also mentioned that the Yankees, Giants, Padres, Red Sox, and Blue Jays were also interested in Sugano. And honestly, I'm not surprised that the Rangers were interested or still are interested in Sugano. And this is because like the Rangers scout heavily in Asia, like um, most notably the players that they have acquired or have tried to acquire is Yu Darvish. We all know he may be one of the best Rangers pitchers of all time. And then they tried to get Shohei Otani back in 2017, that didn't work out. But that's another story. Not only do I think it would help out the Rangers rotation, but I also think that Sugano might be the Rangers number one starter right out the gate with a rotation looking like Sugano number one, Kyle Gibson as the number two, Jordan Lyles as the number three, um, Colby Allard as the number four, and, and Kyle Cody as the number five. That rotation still needs work. I don't really trust um, Kyle Cody just yet, and I don't really trust Colby Allard right now. But yeah, it would definitely be a starting piece to help out the rotation. Even though I think it would be awesome for the Rangers to sign Sugano to like a three-year deal. The Rangers use three-year deals a lot. They did it with Mike Miner, Lance Lynn, Kyle Gibson. I don't think Sugano would have any interest in the Rangers, mainly because he is an older guy. He's 31 and he probably wants to go into a contending team. And I don't think the Rangers can really offer that to him right now or in the next two years. So I don't think that Sugano will be a good fit for the Rangers. Now, moving on to Josh Young. Should Josh Young be the Rangers starting third baseman in 2021? If he has a good spring training, um, I absolutely believe so. Like, why not? Why? He's the future at third base. If he has a good spring training, just um, give him the job. But he has he has to earn it. You can't just let him, he can't have a bad spring training and then you just give him the third base job. Although if the Rangers think he's not ready after spring training, or if they want him to face higher level of competition or if they want him or if they want to manipulate his service time i completely understand that i mean josh young hasn't even made it to double a yet although all the news coming from arlington is that josh young is impressing a bunch of people in the rangers organization which is really good to hear uh, he impressed people when he was at the alternate training site this summer but he also impressed scouts during his play during the instructional fall league even if josh young doesn't make the opening day roster for the Rangers. I think the Rangers only have to sign a stopgap player at third base. I don't want Elvis to be a, the third baseman. I think he would be a really good utility guy to play third, short, and second. Although they only need a stopgap guy because I definitely think that um, Young will be on the Rangers big league club in a hurry um, with the earliest possibly being like the first month, the first month of the season. And the latest being September call-ups. With that being said, that just about wraps up the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate that. And tell me what you think in the comment section. Um, do you want the Rangers to sign Ha Seon Kim? Do you want the Rangers to sign right-handed pitcher Sugano from um, Japan? Or do you think that Josh Young should be the Rangers starting third baseman heading into 2021? Or do you think he should prove it first in the minor leagues, given that he hasn't played in the minor leagues in about a year. So let me know what you have to say down in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.